All right, so let's talk a little bit about elastic audio. And uh, in this session, I brought in my friend's track again, and let's hear it. The Christmas track. And uh, currently the tempo is set to 120, which does not correspond to this tempo. But uh, just to prove a point, let's just change the tempo to 300, something ridiculous, and you'll see has no effect Merry Christmas. no effect whatsoever on this track so let's go ahead and change this back to uh, 120 and actually if we remember from the one of the previous videos the tempo for this is 86 so we'll change it to 86 instead okay so elastic audio well because this track is a sample based track if you look over here it's a sample based track uh, tempo changes do not affect the tempo of this track. In order to change the tempo using uh, the the tempo ruler up here, we're going to need to change this track to a tick based track. And the way we do that is we click on this time base selector right here, change it to ticks, and you'll notice that nothing happens even if we change the tempo. That is because we haven't selected an Elastic Audio plugin that we're gonna use um, to convert this track to ticks. So let's, this is a, there's a couple options here, polyphon polyphonic, rhythmic, monophonic, varispeed, and X form. Uh, this is a polyphonic track, so we'll just choose that, and you, you'll see the track gray out for this for a second while it's analyzing it. And also over in the regions um, list over here, you'll see that there is are two. There are two versions of this track now. There's the uh, sample based version, and there's the tick based version. So now this is a tick based track. No change yet, Mary. but let's change this to. 120, 125. You see how the track moved? It contracted. Let's listen to it. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to all. Oh, I got a real good feeling. There we go. We have converted this from a tick, excuse me, from a sample based track to a tick based track using Elastic Audio.